Skutter and Peter Durevard have been found guilty of murder in the Northwest High Court in Mahigeng today. The duo has been on trial following the death of 15-year-old Matlomola Musweu in Kalini on the 20th of April last year. Musweu sustained a fatal fall from a moving vehicle that day. The trial, dubbed the Sunflower Case, sparked racial tension in the small rural town. A long-awaited verdict finally delivered. The accused are found guilty as charged on count one, that is the count of murder, count two, kidnapping, count three, contravention of section one, subsection 1A, read with section two and three of the Intimidation Act, 72 of 1982, count four, theft, and count seven, pointing of a firearm. Judge Ronald Hendricks ruled that the contradictions in state witness Bonakele Pakisi's affidavits and testimony were not material. The fact that Pakisi had seen the boy being thrown from the vehicle was consistent with the findings of forensic pathologist Dr. Ruveda Murad that Musweo did not jump as he had no defensive type injuries. The state welcomed the judgment. We are happy about the court's judgment. It was penetrating, well-reasoned and cautious. We await the sentencing stage tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hendricks also called the accused's attempts to call for help for the dying Matlomola in genuine, saying the fact that they returned to their workshop after the incident was evident of their little concern. The judge also stated that they should have foreseen that their actions could lead to the child's death. Hendricks admitted that they gambled with his life and even possibly had a motive to punish the child. Furthermore, he lashed out at Kulini's police for refusing to take Pakisi's statement. The case was adjourned to Thursday when arguments in aggravation and mitigation of sentencing are expected to be delivered. The accused have been remanded in custody. Nicolene Smallman, SABC News, Maiking.